All right, we're here today with Elke again, and she's just had treatment from our resident physio, Sarah. And if you remember, her extension was really bad. So now that she's had her QLs loosened up, so if you show us that, Elke. So her QLs were really tight through here on both sides, and part of that was preventing her from bending backwards. Now she's just had them loosened up, which is rather nice. Um, if you back on the bed again for me, Let's just see what her extension is like now because <coughs> you remember she was not so great with it. And let's have a look at this now. So if you go back with me, you can see she's got a lot more extension going through here. So the looser these QLs are, the more likely they are to switch on engage and gives them better control. But she still needs to work on that control. Now part of her problem is hip hinging. So Sarah is going to take us through hip hinging today with Alki uh, right. to show what to do. So. So, yeah, you can leave it up. So what we're going to do, we're going to start actually at the wall today. So you're going to put both your heels on the wall. You're going to take a step forward, so about a foot width, and then step to the side for me, okay? Now, we've spoken about neutral spine before, so what we're going to do is we're going to get our neutral spine. We're going to lift our little wee muscles and that quick breath out. Good. Then from here, we're going to keep that connection. So you can actually use your fingers like the shuckers and then you can pop your thumb on the bottom of the ribs, your pinkies on the top of your ASIS, which is that bone that just sits out right here. Mm -hmm. Cool. We're going to keep that connection so that doesn't change, right? So from here, what you're going to do is you're going to try and tap your bottom nice and high on the wall without changing that position of your ribs. Good. Good. And we tap. Good. Now come back up. Good. What you can do is you can actually, the knees can bend, but our initiation starts from that hip. So tap it nice and high on the wall, keep that connection, and then come back. Just take a little shuffle backwards for me, just because you've got those shoes. Good. So get that connection. Your little wee muscles are on. Good. And shoot nice and high on the wall. Keep that connection. Don't lose that connection through your spine and stand back up. Good, and again, get that connection there for me. Keep that there, now don't lose that, don't lose that. Keep that connection, come and keep that slightly. Yeah, there we go. Tap. And the trick with Alki, right, is to make sure this doesn't increase too much, right? So, yep. Yeah. Go one more, so nice and high on the wall. Good, let those knees bend slightly. Good, keep that connection. And then shoot back up. Good. Good one. There we go. So Elki has practiced this a few times. Um, in the first one, she was hyperextending through her lower back a little bit. So what we're going to do this time is show you how Elki's done it with her practicing keeping that nice neutral spine so we don't get that hyperextension. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our connection and then sink back into the wall, keeping that beaut yeah, there we go, that beautiful neutral spine and then squeezing back up. So this time Elkie's gonna let her knees bend a little bit more with the movement. No, 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 bend backwards, sorry. So I'm gonna hinge through those hips and bend. Yep, stop there. Good, and come back up. And one more time. It's really handy having that wall there, isn't it, for guidance? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Shows us how far back we can tap. Just to there, good and then come back. So we don't have to let that body fold down too far. It's almost like we're hinging and breaking through those hips, keeping our spine nice and neutral. There we go, stop there. Beautiful, that's a beautiful one there. And then coming back up. There we go.